Hello and welcome to part 11. Um, and in this video, I want to start looking at how we can create the room scale locomotion setup. And the way I did it in my um, demo video uh, was that I used a blend space for that. And for blend spaces, we need animations. So we need at least a walking forward animation with you know, backwards and straight right and straight left. And also for additional animations for the 45 degrees uh, in between. Um, the animations that I used was coming from an old uh, project that I made very early on, like a year ago or something, which was based off the Mixamo animations. So the Mixamo animations you can download from here. Uh, you have the strafe if you type in strafe here and on the uh, store page. You're going to find left strafe walking, right strafe walking and so on. And you can uh, easily use these animations here instead. So the thing is I wanted to do something different. So I'm going to do a little experiment here and see if I can get away with that and still get a good result out of it. Um, so I'm actually going to do something different this time here. So um, I have loaded up a third person example template map here. So when we play that, normally um, we have this guy running around and you may be aware that he can jump and all that stuff, hopefully. Um, but if we exit that, we will notice that he also has a third person walk animation in here, which looks like this. So normally we just see the running animation, but we also have a walk animation. And you can take whatever walking animation or walk, walk cycle that you want to use, but I'm gonna be using this one just because everybody has access to this one. Um, so I'm gonna head and export this first. So just hit export. And then we're gonna switch to motion builder. Um, first of all, I'm going to open up my SK Mannequin IPy MBUE4 file, template file. And if you haven't watched my previous video, then you want to go and watch that first because I provided a link in the description for that video uh, where you can find this file here so you can follow along. Um, the next thing we're going to do is to motion file import that walk cycle that we have and make sure you have merge selected and hit import. So that's gonna bring this up. So I'm just gonna click this button out here so that the animation loops. The way this template works is that it has two characters here and this character here has an identical skeleton to the UE4 uh, mannequin. Um, so if you select the UE4 character and you will see that this character is driven by the ipy character and what we just did was to import the animation which was matching the bones of this ipy character the reason why i do this is partly because it helped me bring in a character from or an animation from ipy studio and it also makes sure that uh, any rotations that i have are getting sorted in this process here. Um, so I'm going to select my UE4 mannequin character and I'm going to plot this to my control rig. So now I have that animation that we brought in on my control rig. So we can um, take a look at this animation here now and see that it has a little bit of a hiccup in in, in in the loop here. So if we click this button here and say play it like very slowly, then we can see towards the end here when it loops around, it has this little hiccup. And that is something that we want to uh, tackle in this video before we proceed because this walk animation is going to be uh, the basis of the rest of the animations that we're going to make out of this. So we want it to be fairly nice looking. Um, so 
We can do this in a number of ways, but the way I'm going to do it is to use the story mode, uh, story tool here for this. Uh, so you want to switch to that and make sure that it's on. It's blue. So right click this open area and select insert character animation track and then select UE4 mannequin character. Uh, and now we can import or insert this current take. That means that animation that we have on this current take is being inserted into the story mode, storyboard. Um, so if you click that little box that showed up here and press F on your keyboard, then you're gonna frame up on that. It's not really necessary, but it helps. Um, so on frame zero, you will see that he is on a right passing and we need to be careful that we match these things up otherwise the blend spaces are going to be looking different uh, weird but since the hiccup in the animation is be coming from the transition from the last frame to the first frame we need to do something about the transition from the last to the first and the way we're going to do that is to split this up in the middle because we know that this part here is going to be looking good so i'm going to click the razor tool or button here and then i'm going to take this part the first part and move towards the end and then the last part and move that to the frame zero and then match them up like this again so that means that when the animation passes from the end to the beginning it's going to be fluid and the hiccup is now going to be in the beginning uh, in the middle here so we're going to take this clip here and we're going to drag it down just uh, for, uh, back just a little bit you've got to experiment a little bit with this yourself but i think i drag this uh, these three frames forward and back and then hit play and you want to be careful that you watch this here in the middle and see if you can see any noticeable hiccup so I already think this looks way better. So in case you are satisfied with this as I am right now, um, I'm gonna right click and say plot whole scene to the current take. And that's gonna take this animation that we are happy with and plot that to my take. So now I can delete what I have on my story and uh, I still have this animation. But we still, uh, if you remember, uh, we have uh, the right uh, the left passing as the uh, first frame so we want to reverse that again so we do that by importing that or inserting that current take again and find the right passing frame which i believe is this one and then raise this selected that clip and then raise it up switch them around like we did before and now on frame zero you'll have your right passing back again so this last step is not necessary strictly but i like to just keep it completely as it was so and it's also a good practice to see how you can swap around things and this exercise is also going to provide some good uh, experience when you want to do some of the additional stuff later on but that's something for later so all we need to do now is to right click again and say plot holes into the current take and now we have that uh, animation back on the current take so let's disable the story for now and that means that whatever we see now is coming from the animation on the current take on the control rig so all we need now to do is to plot this to our skeleton like this expand the scene and find the ue4 sk mannequin select the root right click that and select branches so you get all the bones selected underneath and then you want a motion file export and then overwrite this third person walk uh, 
um, selected models only and deselect all takes and only export Unreal Take 1, this one that we're working on, and hit export and all right. So if we now switch to our tutorial uh, project, um, we should have an animation folder already. Let's import that animation now and see if it looks correct. Make sure you select your scheme management skeleton and import. So now we have the animation here and it looks to be walking a little bit more smooth. And that was what I had for this video. We're going to continue in the next and start creating the strafing animations. Um, so stay tuned for that. And bye bye.